are familiar with Mundelein know that there are, you know, it's a long process to become a priest. And actually, when a man enters seminary, it could take anywhere really between six and eight years. Um, six years would be if he comes to seminary already with a college degree and something else, a bachelor's degree and really whatever. And then he has to do two years of pre-theology, which is philosophy essentially, the, uh, the great ideas of ancient kind of modern philosophies coming together. Um, and then the four years of theology. Or it could be as long as eight years. If you, do, if you come right out of high school, then you'll go to college seminary or undergraduate seminary, um, minor seminary really. Um, you'll do four years there and then again four years of uh, theology at Mundelein. So I actually will be in seminary for seven years. It's kind of an anomaly, but um, I did one year of college and then went into college seminary up at St. John Vianney in St. Paul. Um, and college seminary is unique because for the most part, a lot of college seminaries are actually on university campuses. Um, people that are familiar with St. Joe's here in Chicago, for example, is on the Loyola campus. Uh, the one I went to is on a university campus in St. Paul, Minnesota. So we're men that live together uh, apart from the rest of the university community, but we take classes with all the other university students. But we're studying philosophy. Um, so philosophy is sort of the handmaiden of theology. They say uh, ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ, and in the same way, in my opinion, ignorance of philosophy is ignorance of theology. Everything that the church teaches theologically finds its root somewhere in a philosophical basis. And so that's what you learn in college seminary, but obviously there's much more to it than that. There's four years of formation that go on, um, and the, the goal of, of a major seminary and a minor seminary are very different. So the college seminary just wants to get you ready for major seminary. Um, kind of the motto that we used was, uh, no matter what you decide to do, become a priest, to, a priest or something else, you'll be a good father because you came to a college seminary. Um, but obviously the goal of Mundelein is to make you a priest. So the formation's a little bit more intense here, the, the academics are definitely more intense here, but college seminary is really like the primer for the major seminary. So when a man comes to Mundelein from a college seminary or from a different pre-theology program, uh, you enter into theology studies. You can wear the collar and you start to really become acquainted with the life of the priest, different courses, um, focus on pastoral needs, the um, academics focus really in on the new evangelization. So although I'm learning about Christology, you know, my paper at the end of the year will be an, like a 10-page paper about relating this to an eighth grader. How are you saved, Mr. Eighth Grader? You know, um, really applying it to different kinds of people. Um, the principles of the liturgy class, one of the assignments in there will be explain the liturgy to a seventh grader in confirmation prep. Um, so all of our assignments are academic in nature, but they're always geared somehow towards a new evangelization, not just kind of circular, you know, academic study, but how can this apply to you? as a person, to you as a priest, and to your people, to the people that you're going to have to teach this to someday. So can you apply it to them? So all four years are kind of spent with that aim. Your second year, you actually spend almost half of the year, the whole spring semester, in an internship in a parish in your own diocese. And then your third year, you actually spend 10 weeks in the Holy Land, um, getting acquainted with the roots of the church. Where, where did Christ walk? Where did he teach? What do these places look like? So then it becomes real for you, so then you can help make it real for other people. And then after the end of your third year, you're ordained a deacon, and you spend your fourth year of theology studying you know, mass practicum, how to do a funeral, uh, confession prep, all those different things. And then at the end of your fourth year of theology, if God wills it, you're ordained a priest.